Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 24th, 2024. Well, my goodness, quite a little bit changed while I was gone getting my son moved. Do apologize that there was no video on Friday. I hope you guys had a great day with this big rally that came into the market. So, Let's take a look at what we've got going on in the charts today and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market. But first off, let's take a look at what happened overnight. We had Asian markets just a little bit, well, not a little bit, um, only the Nikkei was up yesterday, but red across the board, but they were not major losses. Except in Shanghai, um, it was down 1.17%, but everything else was, um, less than a 1% decline, while the Nikkei um, had about a half a percent of increase. If we take a look at European markets this morning, however, we're just pretty decidedly bullish here across the board this morning in Europe. They're looking ahead to some uh, new data this weekend, uh, seeming pretty positive at the moment, trying to push on up. And here this morning we have futures trying to push higher and something we haven't seen for some time. Dow futures moving up while the NASDAQ futures are moving just slightly lower here this morning. S&P 500 futures are essentially flat. If we take a look at um, um, oil this morning, we've got oil just a tiny little bit higher. If we look at um, XLE, it was just, um, that's actually moving down on the oil prices or um, oil stocks, but we've got oil just a tiny little bit higher as XLE continues to move in this down channel here in the market. If we take a look at some of the precious metals, GLD is down today. We've got gold moving just a little bit lower. We've got um, actually gold has um, returned to moving up since I looked at it first thing here this morning. It's up just slightly $6.30 an ounce. Silver being down just a tiny little bit. Copper, platinum, and palladium are all mixed. We've got copper down, palladium, and platinum up. So, or um, yeah, so we'll want to keep a close eye on that today. Quite a little uh, bit of volatility here in uh, those precious metals markets. And then if we um, go ahead and take a look at what we've got, got going on in cryptos, they're sharply lower here this morning with Bitcoin down $2,837 a coin at the moment, red across the board here. And uh, part of the reason I think that is occurring is, well, we're seeing the US dollar uh, move on higher here this morning. Take a look at UUP. Um, well, actually, now that's showing a pullback. Boy, I've got a little mix in data here this morning. So showing a little bit of pullback here on the dollar while bonds, bonds are hanging in there. We've got the two-year at 4.74. We've got the 10-year at 4.6. And we've got the 30-year at 4.40. So what does all that mean for today? Well, let's settle in. Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's shake off a little bit of bias. Let's take a look at these charts quick and see what we see here in the support, resistance, and trend. Well, first off, we have to note that we ran across um, this trend line absolutely held up and it ended up breaking through this downtrend so now the key element in here after breaking through here and breaking through this resistance is to see whether or not we can hold this area as a higher low that's going to be important that will would establish a new upside trend we're pushing up here this morning as you can see with futures up 
And um, I want to say that, at least at this point, this is moving up pretty steeply. Don't be too surprised if there's a little bit of consolidation or rest that comes into the diamond soon. But watching that carefully, if we can continue to see those bulls push through here with energy today, then let's watch this area right in here. That's our next resistance area in the chart. If we can break on through there, then we're going to take a look and see if we can push on up and retest some um, highs here in the diamonds. Now, if we look at our uh, moving averages, this is a nice pop back above our 50 day moving average. But this is kind of what I call a crossover. When we see that crossover, we need to see proof that we can hold a higher low. So pushing through this resistance is a good thing, but now show us some proof that we can hold and that establishes the upside trend after breaking a downtrend. So kind of keep a close eye on that um, as we move throughout this week. If we take a look at, at the SPY, SPY, there's nothing in there but bullishness. We have that little tiny resting pullback in there, but no particular worries there. And as you can see, that pullback into here could actually come into some support and trend and show that next opportunity to the upside. So if the bulls continue to find that inspiration here today and do push up, well, you can see there's a little teeny tiny bit of resistance right there in price action popping through there then we'll be looking at the um, all-time high test and beyond that it's blue sky above however if the bears were to find any inspiration today pushing us back down into here wouldn't be any major problem at all it'd be a nice little rest and consolidation in there coming back into that trend. If that holds, we're golden. If we were to fail below this area, I would look for this gap in here to be filled, and then maybe we start progressing down through these levels here in the chart. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages here, one concern that I have here in the SPY and the QQQ is just the elevation away from our 50-day moving average. We are very stretched out here in the tech sector but right now there seems to be absolutely nothing in fear in the market to worry um, everyone about um, that extension so continue to buy and continue to stay with that trend as long as that trend continues if you take a look at our qqq qqq also getting a little resting pullback here but certainly nothing of concern or consequence here in the chart. Pulling back into this area of price support would not be a problem at all if we found that little, it's kind of a small area of support in there. Pull back and consolidate in here ahead of this trend, you're in good shape. If the, if the bears were to push beyond that, however, well, we start looking down in here, coming into our upside trend, maybe filling a gap or two coming into the next area of support and progressing on down um, through those support areas of the chart. But there's nothing in here that suggests that kind of bearishness that I can see just yet. And if those bulls were to come in here and find inspiration today, well, pushing up through here would probably send us right back up here to retest the highs and then Beyond that, blue sky above here in the chart on the NASDAQ. Once again, very separated from our 50-day moving average. I am a little bit worried about that overextension. But beyond that, there is nothing here that suggests bearishness at the moment. If we take a look at IWM, IW, <coughs> IWM unfortunately didn't get the um, bullish move that the Dow did pushing up. We're just not in love at all with the small caps um haven't been for a long time now because we're so centric and focused on just those big tech giants and right now we've got this nice little push up here and there may be the hint of a higher low the question will be can they push through this resistance area of the chart and if they do well we start pushing back up and then we're going to start looking at this downtrend 
here in the chart. Can we start pushing through there, get up here into this next area of resistance and downtrend and see bullishness beyond that point? So still a lot of issues and concerns here with IWM to the upside. If, however, those bears were to come in today and find some inspiration, pushing down from here would not be a major surprise. We've seen it before. And that push back down, we'd start retesting some of these support levels in the chart if that were to occur. So watch that carefully. This is going to be a pretty important support or resistance area to be breaking. If we can pop through, become support. If it breaks down from here, it becomes resistance. And remember here on Russell, still below our 50-day moving average, so we're still challenged by this moving average squeeze kind of setting in here over the top of the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX has been dancing around here along this bottom for a long time and so far we haven't um, had any major increase in fear. Obviously did pop up a little bit and we're popping up into this congestion area so we can stay here for quite a while if we can continue to find that bullishness in um, you know the diamond spy and QQQ so watch that carefully you will want to notice there's a little teeny tiny upside trend here but nothing to be worried about and we did on Friday pop through break through or excuse me on Thursday we broke through that um, downtrend resistance here in the chart but we continue to maintain and hold this area of resistance so if those bears were to find some inspiration today and start pushing up into here that would be a little bit worrisome for the market and the major worrisome thing that could occur in here is after breaking that downtrend is holding some kind of higher low and really starting to establish an upside trend that would be more of concern at least to me if we look um, at this for a potential bearish move and certainly every reason to believe a bullish move every reason to believe we can get a bullish move then pushing on down from this um, long-legged spinning top shooting star whatever you want to call that doji right there pushing down into this area price support and then down below that we're going to start seeking some of these lows here in the market let's take a look at our t20s our um you know, our t2122 um unfortunately didn't enjoy a, a massive upside rally with the diamonds and you can see our t2122 here this remember this is just a four week new high new low ratio you can see we still have a quite a few number of stocks out there suffering a lot we're unable to really get them going but in a good news situation here on Friday, you guys left behind a little bit of a hockey stick in here. And oftentimes hockey sticks down on the bottom like this will tend to resolve themselves to the upside. So a little bit of push in here, be every reason to believe that's possible. We could be up here seeking that 50% area or maybe even beyond with a good push this morning. So watch carefully for that bullish wave to potentially come in. Right now, as a matter of fact, I'm seeing all three of uh, Diamond Spying and uh, uh, NASDAQ futures all just a little bit higher. So watch that carefully here this morning if we can get a little bit of a bullish push. If the bears, however, um, were to find some energy, well, keep in mind, we've opened a space for them to attack as well. So um, we've got certainly more easy upside opportunity than we do downside opportunity, but watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2108, now the percentage of stocks above the 40 day certainly have not been impressive. And this is that concern that I have about such a small leadership in the market. What this means is it's a percentage above the 40 day is we're still below 35% here of our stocks are holding above their 40 day moving average. We continue to move in this downtrend here in the chart. And unfortunately we have a hockey stick in the air. Oftentimes that hockey stick up in the air will tend to 
give us that push to the downside here. So watch carefully for that potential. But if we can push on through, if those bulls find inspiration today and they can push on through that resistance there and this downtrending, then we might start catching a little bit of relief to the upside and we may come back up here and see if we can get up near 50% of stocks above their 40 day. Of course, the opposite is true if those bears were to come in from that hockey stick and pushing on lower, we'd see a little bit of pressure maybe building on the market. And our T2107 also showing us a lot of weakness here. We did rally just a little bit there on Friday coming up but notice we're still well below some major resistance areas in the chart and downtrend if we can get that going notice we're just sneaking above the 50 percent area here in the percentage of stocks above the 200 day they need a push to break on through up here certainly possible that would relieve some of that uh, um, bearish worry in the market however if the bears were to come in and reverse that back down we may be down here testing some of these old support levels in the chart. So watch that. And our T2101, this is also a concern. T2101, the breadth of the market continuing to decline, even though we're seeing this surge to the upside. And that breadth is showing us an awful lot of weakness here. And probably not a major surprise, just simply because we've got stocks in their blackout period, corporate buybacks are ending, uh, more and more companies are going into their blackout period here as we move toward our next earnings report um, or ex next earnings season. So watch that carefully here, uh, pulling back um, uh, it really does make us uh, make me worry a little bit because we have such a thin leadership in the market. If those major tech companies start to sell, this could change really quickly and we could actually see the bears grab a hold of this and push that breadth up. So just be really, really careful with chasing at the moment um, as we continue to extend those big techs. Now, how about we take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar as you can see pretty light day here today that does provide those bulls some cover to be able to continue that push to the upside it may also provide some of that uncertainty that keeps the bears a little more active than the bulls would like to see first off we've got uh waller or christopher waller will be speaking today so keep an eye on that we're going to get a dallas fed manufacturing and they're looking for a negative 14 here in the consensus that is an improvement over the negative 19 but certainly our manufacturing um, is still in a lot of trouble here in the United States and then if we take a look we've got a three a month bill auction a six month bill auction and then we've got daily here coming in toward the end of the day Let's take a look um, through the rest of the week. We've got several Fed speakers to be thinking about as they come through. We're going to have um, Chicago Fed National Activity, Case Schiller. Um, we're going to get some how the house price index in here. We've got consumer uh, confidence coming in. This could be a concern. If you remember, consumer sentiment declined last uh, week. So we'll want to be watching carefully here. We've got the Richmond Fed manufacturing number and those bond um, um, or Fed speakers. If we take a look on Wednesday, we've got mortgage applications, new home sales, and our normal petroleum status with some bond auctions. Thursday, we're gonna be looking at durable goods orders and then the big number of the week and the concern that everyone's gonna be thinking about. What's that GDP number gonna look like coming into Thursday? So watch carefully there. International trading goods, jobless claims, and then of course, our normal. We've got retail sales, wholesale sales numbers. We've got pending home sales numbers, natural gas, Fed balance sheet, and some bond auctions. And then on Friday, we're going to be looking at some more Fed speak, personal incomes and outlays, Chicago, Chicago uh, PMI and consumer sentiment. Now, remember, uh, core PCE numbers, that's the Fed's favorite number and the reading on inflation that 
um, everyone will be focusing on as well. So we've got these two numbers heading into the end of the week that will probably be the drivers whether we are going to be bullish or bearish. So watch those carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. And our earnings calendar, well, not a whole lot going on in there. Um, uh, there are no notable earnings for this morning to be worried about. And as a matter of fact, no notable earnings for the afternoon reports to be worried about. We pick up a little bit on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday is typically our biggest day of earnings and that'll be the same same thing here this week. So uh, very light on um, inspiration here when it comes to earnings today. It, so with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to leave that little comment clicking that thumbs up button leaving a comment it helps the channel to grow you guys are awesome and thank you to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed and then also for those of you that continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are truly awesome thank you so very much Let's take a look at some of these stocks that might be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, I've been gone a couple of days and just working like crazy here, um, trying to move my son over one day. But that being said, we've got some changes here and some charts that are pretty darn interesting. First off, let's take a look one more time at that UUP. And it was looking higher earlier this morning and now showing just a little bit of move down. So as the dollar, if the dollar shows that weakness and continues to weaken here, that could help us out on those commodities. And we could sit, start to see gold, silver, um, oil, things like that, gain a little bit of ground. So keep an eye on the dollar today as that moves around. And then we're going to want to be taking a peek at some of these big tech giants. Take a look at Apple. Apple has been resting and pulling back. And there's new news this morning that Europe is accusing Apple of some shenanigans. Let's call it that. Um, and um, feeling a little bit of pressure here on Apple pulling back. But if you'll notice in here, we've got a good solid support here in the chart. We've got an upside trend. So if Apple can start to flatten out here and rest a little bit, that sets up a very bullish upside opportunity here in Apple. So keep an eye on that if um, that rest or, or consolidation were to hold in there. Um, I would be watching that for a potential long. Take a look at STX. I think STX is looking like a good setup. Now it's a little bit away from the trend, so don't be surprised on this resting pullback that it has to rest a bit more, and kind of come closer into that trend. But I think STX could be setting up for that upside move. I'd put that on a list and be watching that one. Um, Google, Google making that nice breakout here. It's been consolidating here for a long, long time. You'll notice here in the chart, if we were to back this up, kind of run along um, an area right in through here, there's a little trend we've got going on. It's beautiful upside in, in the chart, but the trend has been a little bit on the choppy side. But this resting consolidation coming out here to this trending area sets up that really nice opportunity that Google may be set for that extension on to the upside. Watch Google. Take a look at Humana. Humana has been trying to break through this resistance in the chart. This is a nice little bottoming formation. Notice we've got this little W formation after breaking the downtrend, slipping out from underneath that downtrend, pushing up here into resistance. Might be worth keeping a little bit of eye on some of these healthcare stocks as they start to recover here just a bit. We got a little wedging formation in here. Watch for that opportunity for that to potentially pop on through to the upside in Humana. It could be a nice little chart. 
Taking a look at Walmart, boy, we are continuing to show lots and lots of bullishness here in Walmart. I'm going to change this trend to here. Notice we had a trend coming through this area. Kind of slipped it a little bit, but we, we resumed that upside by holding this price support. Kind of the same kind of thing I was pointing out in Apple and uh, STX, that little resting consolidation, waiting for that next buy to come in to those charts and Walmart moving on up. Now it may have to rest. It's up several days. Don't be too surprised if this has to rest or consolidate just a little bit, but as long as it holds above support and trend, I'd be looking for that next opportunity for that to extend. If we take a look, take a look at HLF Herbalife. Herbalife has been coming up here in a nice little upside trend. This little wedging pattern in here formed in that chart. I'd be watching for a little bit of bullish push here. If they can pop that through, might be an interesting chart to be uh, paying attention to to see if it can break on higher. Obviously Herbalife I'm breaking out from underneath these downtrends here in the chart, trying to sneak out there. That would be interesting if that does make it through there. Uh, moving on, how about Williams uh, Williams companies here? Nice little pop out of that resistance. There's that wedging pattern completed. You can see where we pop through there. We've had an upside trend squeezing us against that resistance. Then we pop through. So any resting pullback in here that holds that higher low, holds that somewhere along that trend, I would be looking for that next upside in WMB. Keep an eye on that. Um, Tiva, Tiva's continuing to consolidate, but still looks very, very bullish overall. Now, I think our trend is flattened out into here. And so if this is our trend, and we've got this resting consolidating pullback in here, look for that next opportunity to come in here if we react bullishly off that trend for that push to the upside in TEVA. There are uh, stocks like AMAT doing a nice little resting pullback here. Pulling back, we'll want to keep an eye on that as that continues to rest and pull back. But I think, again, if we can find a little price support right in there, I'd be uh, keeping an eye on AMAT. Take a look at WDC. Now, WDC could be a little bit of a concern here, noticing that we have, if this is our upside trend, well, we kind of broke that trend here and we're pushing down into the next level of plot price support. So watch this carefully. If we were to create some kind of lower high in here, notice what I've drawn is kind of a head and shoulders pattern in here. And I'd be looking and watching for that potential failure if we start to lose these support areas in the chart. Um, take a look at AMD. AMD also giving me that little bit of concern in here. We have rallied back up, good strong rally, popped, got back above this price support. Now we've got this big question mark in AMAD. Will this make enough push, enough bullish push to break through that little downtrend and push us on out? Or will we see this downtrending wedge uh, come into play and push us on lower here in AMAD. Put this on the list, but I would be watching this to potentially to go either direction. And notice we're dancing right around in here around that 50 day moving average trying to hold, but our trends, our energy here in this stock is not very good. So keep an eye on that. Um, obviously when we took, we looked at, um, um, Walmart, there we go, got it said. Um, that's not translating into a lot of retail here. We've got Macy's running into uh, a problem here. Notice this resting consolidation along the support, but it is also in that wedging downtrend pattern. I'd be watching for that opportunity that could push on through to the downside. But you certainly can't say that about old Costco. Costco looking very, very good here. Even though it, last couple of days, a little bit of pullback, we're coming back into this price support. I think this is still very, very bullish. And in that um, trending area here, if we were to find some buyers stepping up, 
Well, I'd be watching carefully for that opportunity that could push on through in here. Watch that one closely um, overall. So with that, everyone, there's quite a few stocks for you to take a look at. I apologize today that there is not going to be a blog. I had a little bit of a computer problem this morning after getting back. And um, if one thing goes wrong, um, I, I, I don't get all of those things done here this morning. So I want to wish you all the best. Be careful. Be safe. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.